Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. This is a RPS pump failure update. This is day four without any water being pumped from the well. I finally got in touch with uh, Rural Power Systems, uh, customer service, and their technical support. So I ordered a spare controller over the weekend. They're shipping the spare controller out. That's one I'm gonna keep on hand if something like this happens again. And talked to tech support. Went through all the diagnoses and everything on the uh, controller, and you know, at, per their troubleshooting guide, and I'd already done all that and went above and beyond what they requested for their uh, checks and tests on the controller and the board. So they are going to send me a new warranty board out. Uh, he's the technician I spoke to said he was going to second day air the uh, new controller, so it should be here in a couple of days. But I'm going to show you how we're doing on our water. We have taken some water conservation efforts uh, a little bit to the extreme. We usually, you know, not washing clothes, not run the dishwasher, just everyday usage. We use about 50 gallons of water. So I've, we've both started shutting the water off while we're soaping up in the shower. And we're down to about 30 gallons a day. But I'll show you the water is about right here in the tank. So I got half a tank there. And you can probably see the line right there of the water. So we got equivalent of one full tank, which is 275 gallons. So fingers crossed we should make it for the next couple of days. I did add 55 gallons of rain water to the tanks. I put a hose in the top, fill valve, and have a pump down at the house. So I did rain catchment barrels and we were blessed with plenty of rain last night. I think over an inch and a half of rain and about an hour from a thunderstorm. So we got plenty of rain. So I had a little 120 volt pump on a portable power box, a little solar generator. And I pumped water out of the barrel up here into the tank. So that gave us you know, 55 gallons more than what we had. So fingers crossed, Lord willing, we'll make it the next you know, two or three, four days. However long it takes to get controllers in and I still have some water in the ag tank too. Uh, not a lot, about 75 gallons. So if we have to pump out of that one, we can. And I've got the Clorox, Clorox sitting there to sanitize this water before I put it in this. So that's an update on the pump and I will update you further and try to shoot a video when I'm replacing the board. So thanks for watching Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Stay tuned.